for this. Okay, so please continue the question. Okay. Second question. Um, has you has your uh, hometown changed much since you were a child? Okay. Uh, has your hometown changed? Ah, uh, yeah. My our hometown uh, changed a lot since I was a child because uh, before there are lots of trees, lots of uh, what do you call this? Um, plants. But now, since uh, the development of our community, there are lots of houses and buildings that was built. And then uh, there are also malls, uh, malls that have been constructed. And it, I could say that the that my hometown uh, changed from a simple community into a city. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you very much again. That was really good. Third question, Holvin. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Do you think your hometown is a good place to bring up uh, children? Um, in my own opinion, Holvin, I think uh, it depends. Uh, for now, I think it's not a good place since our location is near the highway and it's not safe for some uh, children to go out. So it's better, I think, if they will, if uh, I will live on a subdivision wherein the community is more uh, safe, I guess, because of the, the road. And that's uh, uh, that's my opinion. Okay, thank you so much. Another thing, yeah, I'm sorry, Halvin. I would like to uh talk to Mr. Ken. Yeah, if you say like it's safer rather than saying more safe, more safe, because we have a comparative adjective to say safe, safer, safest, isn't it? So it's yeah safer than yeah than the where than my place let's yeah. say there is, there yeah. is you 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 sorry, sorry. yes he, uh we were talking all then about yeah he said more safe but in fact we have to use safe. i will write it down here okay safe. so you so Vin could understand yeah more safe as he said but i want to safe. tell you in grammar we say it's safer Safer. Comparative, superlative. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Comparative. Comparative. And superlative. It's safer. Yeah. It is. Yes. It, it it is much safer to live there. For example, if you would like to use it, but well, it's the safest mm -hmm. way to live. Okay. Holvin, mm -hmm. right. If there's a more, we only use more if it's a long adjective or we call comparative adjectives, right? For example, more exciting. So if you use that exciting, like that, more exciting, there are three syllables, okay? Yes, exciting, more, comparative. That is, you're going to use more. It's the same in more. English, the most exciting. Yes. Correct. Yes, more, more, in the more, more I use, uh, for example, in comparative, when I have uh, three syllables, Exactly, or, or more. more. Very good, very good. Uh, and more and most and superlative when uh -huh. I have uh, three or more syllables. Perfect, perfect. That's right, that's right. Okay, Hovind, that is clear. Last question to Mr. Ken and then I will entertain Ruth later. Yes. Where is your uh, where you hometown? Last question, okay. Okay, my hometown is in Pangasinan. In mm -hmm. yeah, that's it, Kelvin. Okay, yeah, his hometown 
is in the province of Pangasinan. Since we call it as the province. Right. Okay, thank you very much for uh, Q&A. Barsians, how do you feel? Are you okay, Ken? <laughs> yes, Holby, no problem? No problem. Yes. Okay, great. And I would like to, to tell you, I should say that when you ask a question, make sure your voice raises. Yeah, for how many times have you have heard that you have to raise your voice if you ask any questions like, where or where, where is your hometown? Yeah, because if yeah. you eat your words, you can't, you know, you cannot release your sound because it stresses your throat, right? Remember okay, right. our sound always vibrated to our vocal cords. So you have to use it. The, loud. the sound, uh, I understand the sound. Uh, uh, the sound could be uh, the first, uh, first uh, word. Okay, okay. Yes, you where, have to where, release your sound. Where is your hometown? Something like this. It yeah. raises your sound. Or clear. I clear. For, yeah. Yes, for the clarity of speaking. We don't eat the words, yeah. right. Okay, hi, yeah. let's ask, uh, we have another visitor. Thank you, Holvin and Ken for participating. Now, hi, Hilda. Hello, Ruth. Yeah, you're going to practice your spoken English in just, let's say, 10 minutes. Hello. Hello. Okay, hi. Can you open your camera so we could see you? Is it okay, even though it's, uh, you know, early in the morning? It will be better. Thank you for opening your camera. I really want to see you. Hi, Derek. And how about the others? Hi, Ruth. Come on, let's come and uh, let us show us our faces. Because when we see our, you know, ourselves into the camera, it is like a real conversation, and it is much more impactful. You will feel even the pressure, right? And also, if you uh, going to speak English, don't. Don't worry, because uh, we were very open when it comes to our, you know, English language, open to make mistakes. Yeah, even I make mistakes, so don't worry. I stand to be corrected. You can correct me anytime if I make mistakes. Okay, hi, Ruth. Are you, are you okay? Can you turn on your camera or your, unmuted your microphone? Okay, thank you Hi. so much. Hi, can you uh, open your camera? We can see your beautiful face. Yes, but I cook now. Are ah, you cooking? Oh, all right. What yeah. are you cooking? Invite you. <laughs> what are you cooking? Yes, uh, Ruth. Can you share us? What are you, what are you cooking? It's eggplant. I'm oh. cooking eggplant for our lunch. Yeah, that's delicious. Oh my God. It's been a while since I haven't tried my homemade yeah, eggplant with, how do you call it that? With uh, an egg, with preparations for my parents. Yes. Yeah, okay, because yes. I'm living right now with my kid. My husband died two, two months ago. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, it's okay. Well, we are practicing our spoken English because this could help us in, a, you know, looking for a job and you will have a better work. I work in the U.S. company right now where I incorporated with the nurses to immigrate in another country, somewhere in the U.S. especially. So it's a good opportunity to speak out. And, uh, okay, this is a speaking practice. Derek, yeah, you I'm going to ask you right now a question so you can get personal feedback. Okay, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. So this is how it goes in an online learning, somewhere in Zoom, you know, because it's important for me to develop your spoken English, but uh, in our practice, isn't it? Okay, so Ruth, if it's okay, 
Derek, we're going to ask you five questions here into a home topic. Okay, Derek, can you ask or choose at least three? Let's say three, because we're running out of time. Three, Derek, can you ask Ruth three questions only about home? Yes. Okay. I'm you. going to pick three out of those questionnaires in the screen. Yes. Yes, Derek. Thank you. Okay. I'll pick where is your home? Do you live in our house or a flat? Who do you live with? That's this is three questions. Okay, meaning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ruth, there's a question here. Where is your hometown? My compound is hometown. Um, hometown. hometown. Okay. Oh, so, oh, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. My hometown is yes, ma'am. My hometown is Boracay Island, Auckland. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. Someday I will be there. I went to Cebu last uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> Yes, mm. someday I could meet you there. And so you yes. live in Boracay. Why do you want to improve your spoken yes. English? What is the needed for you to, why, um, what makes you trigger your mind to speak English? Um. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> okay, so she's still really shy and Probably after this session, yeah. you would really look at the internet and browse what uh, English is all about. Okay, thank you, Rose, for participating. I have to ask Derek right now. Just uh, listen and listen to English. I'm sorry, I shouldn't speak Tagalog or Bisaya, but I know how to speak Bisaya, huh? Okay. <laughs> all right. Hi, Derek. I'm going to ask you some questions. Well, uh, I've I've never been to La Union before. No, um, Mom, actually, I'm from Pangasinan. Yes, we, we were the but same. But I'm studying in La Union every oh, Saturday. Okay. La Union is from Pangasinan, isn't it? No? No, no. They're different. They oh, different really? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, I have to ask you some questions. All right. Um, mm -hmm. How many rooms are there in your house? How many rooms? Um, we get two rooms. Okay, who do you live Actually, with? We have, okay. I'm yeah. sleeping with my kids, two kids, and my wife. Okay. So, what facilities are there near your home? What facilities? Man? Yes, what facilities? Let's say, for example, is it convenient to the near the airport or probably to the market actually we're in the um population that's why we're near the market oh it's great okay yeah. so you are near into the market yeah uh, everything's available there right mm -hmm. okay and what is your hometown like my hometown like is Yes, a, um, I can say I, it looks like um, having lots of houses and mm -hmm. lots of friendly neighbor. Mm -hmm. Friendly neighborhood. Friendly neighborhood. Neighbors, okay. all right. Sorry. And then? And then lots of um, establishment like mm -hmm. come on like jellybees like that. We're accessible to the malls, mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Okay, thank you. So much. Oh, great! Yes, I like when you are talking. Good, good job. Yes, but you have to look on the camera. Yeah, so that you can. Uh, you're not going to. I mean, okay. So I'm going to clear. Right, if we are speaking to anybody from job interview somewhere here in Zoom, especially right, you have this kind of posture. Yeah, I'm going to show you uh, at least, yeah, from your, your arms, not that 
um, from your head, they can see you up to your arms. That's just all. And you have to have an eye contact. How many times have you ever heard that you have to have an eye contact? Right. Many times, of course. <laughs> and that's good. I'm sorry, Bill. Oh, Derek, because I like your I'm expression. Sorry. No. no, no, you don't have to say sorry. Anyone who says sorry, I don't want you to say sorry during the lesson because you're not sorry. We're all improving ourselves. We are Thank developing. You. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Man. And uh, Derek, I like the word accessible that you have said. Yeah. Because uh, I, I like uh, when you are using new words, new vocabularies, and the right tonality of your voice would be appreciable for sure. Well, um, has your hometown changed much since you were a child? Is that a question for me, ma'am? Yes. Yes, I'll, um, definitely yes. Um, my hometown changed since I was a child up to now. Then feels like our hometown became much more, um, much more improved. I I I I should say improved. Our hometown improved because there are a lot of facilities like um, convenience stores and groceries and so on. So with the improved. Um, Highways. Okay. okay. Very it. good. Very good, Derry. I like you that you're giving a, an example, like for instance, such as like, okay, great. Alvin, you could also learn from others. Like, you know, they're going to give you an example. Yeah, such as like, for instance, those are we called uh, discourse markers, discourse markers to have a flow of speaking to give examples. Uh, such yes, as, it's a, like. Yes, such as, a, for instance, mm -mm. Uh, other, other words, for example, you, it's true. Okay. I, I understand, thank you. Yes, very good, very good, that, that's right. Okay, uh, so uh, thank you for that. And I would like to, to ask Derry another question. What are you taking up? Since you said that you are a student, could you tell me what are you taking up? What is your major? Um, Mom, I'm taking up BSBA. What is um, that? Bachelor, BSBA. I'm taking up Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Oh, and, wow. Great. Okay. But um, I'm planning for, to ship in the education course like why the business why? administration that is what i'm always dreaming for yeah um, because um since i guess my passion is to teach um young ones the reason mm -hmm. why i have to um switch my course or shift my course into education okay this coming semester oh i see okay since my wife is a teacher and i guess um we can collaborate with each other mm. each, um, the young ones oh okay so you would like to improve your english because you are trying to shift uh, shift to education oh my god all right well with your speaking yeah um you said teach young ones Teaching. Yeah, I would like teaching young ones. Okay, we have to add the present continuous tense in there because, yeah, it's still on the process. Yeah, teaching young ones, teaching young learners, right? Young learners, sorry. <laughs> That's the perfect word. But uh, okay, Derek, no. yeah, if I were you, I am not going to change my course because I have taken up, by the way, uh, IT okay. information and communication technology. I never regret, even though I don't like it. Yeah, I still continue. And I am determined to finish that kind of subject or we call degree, whatever you're called. I, yeah, Ken is also my instructor before. Mm, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's my instructor. 
and he's a really good teacher. And now he is managing uh, some kind of groups, yeah, of teachers. Anyway, yeah, I don't change because they have given me this opportunity. I have to finish it. Once I have done, I can go into education later or probably I can decide on my own because it gives you a tons of opportunities, right? When it comes to business administration, right, Holden, you can learn a lot. I'm planning to learn uh, business administration, but uh, unfortunately, there isn't any online courses. Only I have to go to the school and I don't want to go to school because, you know, it's um, it's going to co- I mean, cause our time and it's waste of time. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Isn't it? You know that the process of schooling. And um, all right. Now, Derek, I have another questions to you. So you can check your book in English. By the way, oh my God, I'm sorry. Time flies so fast. It's 11.06 now. Probably we can also continue next month by the next January, right? At least we can meet once a month. Yeah, so I, I want to see your progress in your spoken English because this is the first time. Is it your first time to speak English, Derek? Um, actually, not a first time, but I'm trying to get into it so that I can improve my communication skills. And I'm like, mm-hmm. um, my communication skills is not yet um, improved. That's why I have to improve it. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yes, that's right. There is always room for improvement. And uh, yeah. I agree with you with that. Yeah, that's a great thing. Just continue, practice English, and uh, listen to the podcast if you have, uh, you know, enough devices to listen or to do. Yeah, to watch movies, guessing some expressions as much as you could. Okay. Yeah, for the meantime, right now, what that is you're going to do? And for Holvin, yes, I have already said some kind of feedbacks to you before. Just have to check it. And organize your sentence more. Yes, Holvin. Yes, I have a, a problem organize the sentences because yeah. I, I I don't I don't use I don't have a use I don't usually uh, conversation. Conversate. I, I don't I don't talk converse. or conversate. Yeah, to someone. Yes, I need a uh, need a uh, for improve. Uh, but I understand. Uh, I understand you. I understand you very. I and I understand you well. <laughs> I understand you uh, all because we are in a group. You have to consider all of the yes. group, right? I understand you yes. all. I I understand you all. Uh, all, uh, all, all them, and, um, and it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I need to practice. Yes, yes, you needed to practice, Holden. Yeah, I'm going to send you a voicemail on WhatsApp. <laughs> a, a little yeah. question. A little question. Sorry. Wait. What person it's a learn um como es, uh, modal verbs? What is that? Modal verbs? Yes, what is important? What what uh, what um mm-hmm. what is the importance of modal verbs? You mean what is it? Yes, what's important uh, learn? Uh, very well developers. Okay, yes. When do you know guys what is modal verbs? Modal verb, example, um uh, use yeah, the, we, we uh, understand. I asked the others. Do you know modal verbs, Derek? Yeah, Ken, modal verbs. Do you remember? Um, not really. Yeah. <laughs> we, we tend to forget it. This is not grammar, though I will answer your question, you know. Modal verbs is always used to give a statement or to ask a question. For example, can you, could you, should you, would you? These are the modal verbs. 
and uh, we have a different test of this model vertex. Could you please, that is more even polite. So during the interviews, you're speaking formally, you have to use could, could, would. Would you mind if I ask something? What is your answer, Derek? Would you mind if I ask something? I don't mind. Come on. I wouldn't yeah. mind. Very good. <laughs> Why? If you say I mind, it means don't. Would you mind no. if I smoke here? And then if you say yes, of course, I wouldn't want to sit beside you. Correct. Yeah. Would you mind? Oh, sorry. Would you? Could you? These are the expressions to, uh, to express in a polite way. Call them. All right. Can you? It's more friendly and... Um, or sorry, it's more friendlier. And then what else? Should is super demanding. You shouldn't say that in the first conversation. What do you call it again? No? Modal word, verb? Yeah, modal verbs. Okay. Yeah. Modal verbs. Yeah, okay. So in any kinds of conversation, it will be better if you're going to be using could you, would you. Yeah, not demanding because we don't like to speak uh -huh. like that, right? Isn't it? Okay, uh, hold it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's uh, very important for you to uh, for learn very well this uh, this, this to uh, learn uh, this area. You don't need very well to learn this area. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well is a kind of adverb. Adverbs is like we have. Uh, like what you have said, well, well, um, kind of adjective. Good, well, best. Yeah, correct. Well, well also, like uh, it is good to learn uh, about this area or better. Okay, anyway, Halvin, let's meet next year. Happy New Year to you and also Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for attending our short lesson I, yeah maybe next time we can learn some grammar because right now it's not grammar practice <laughs> okay. I, hope, I, I hope we can see you soon and the, the god bless you all the time and i hope you <laughs> all the bless you for you for all and spend a good a good uh, time uh, yes of it's course great. thank you thank you so much Halvin. also Dara I appreciate you because you have shared okay. your experiences let's meet next year and we're gonna do our best remember that uh, next time I would like to hear you yeah speaking even better yeah better yeah. English speaker with fluency and uh, co cohesion and coherence have a good time Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Thank you.